I normally made a video on why CS2 is dying, and CS code was a joke. Mm. In CSGO, it's a never-ending joke. CSGO is dying. Boom, player numbers always up, 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 up. Now, player numbers are actually going down. After the release of CS2, player numbers went down lower than what they were before. That's crazy. Let's get into it. Why? Three I pre-watched two minutes off stream and then I realized, okay, Hello guys, it's it would be nice to watch it on stream because I have some, I have some stuff to talk about here as well, all right? Let's get into it, boys and girls. Boom. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining why CS2 is kind of dying. CS2 in beta and before the official release, the hype was so insane and everyone thought that we're going to get this insane polished and content filled game, but that's not really what happened. Before you get mad at me for uh, saying CS2 is dead, you can see it's still by far the most played game on Steam. But if we actually go into the statistics, you can see in the last two months, the player base has dropped by about 25%. That is obvious. Bro, Chad, this is crazy to me. I, I remember people coming to me and saying your player numbers are down and I thought, okay, they're lower than when uh, uh, like the game released, a lot of new people joined. Of course, the numbers are up a lot, so the numbers will be down a lot afterwards as well, right? People play it once and go, go play another game again. But the player's numbers are lower than before CS2. No? That's crazy about 25%. That is obviously not a good sign for the game, and even further, people like Simple are saying, I played CS2 only once and became bored, because there's only one map. This was in beta, but obviously, his thoughts on the game hasn't really changed, because he's basically quit playing CS overall now. I made a tweet where I asked what people think is bad with CS, or what was better in CS. Nah, si simple. What is the simple situation? I think it's just like... I don't know. He said he said in tweets that the orb feels weird and stuff. Um, like he said, uh, he's considering offers maybe not even as an orb or something. He told people okay, maybe wait three months uh, yeah. um, to play the game if you want to become professional or something like this. He hasn't played at a single tournament yet, but he has been streaming CS2. He has been streaming FPL. He's preparing by the looks of I don't know. I don't know. Go and under it I made a poll where people could say how much CS2 do they play compared to CSGO oh. And you can see by the answers almost 30% said they've stopped playing completely And almost 40% said that they play less than CSGO Only 21% said that they play the same and only 13% said that they play more What is it for you chat? I play less I think I don't know why that is. Is it CS2 per se, or is it me being interested in other things? I feel like I wouldn't be interested in other things, like playing Fortnite on stream, if, if CS2, if we would have an operation, if we would have something to do, if we would have I, me venting out the rage after losing a game, maybe we're against stream snipers, playing a game of danger zone quickly, you know? It's, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's so much less to do. You can either play Premiere, get smoked by cheaters. I played three games with Robs and Krimbo on stream, and we had two out of three games, obvious cheaters. I'm saying scout, headshotting through the wall every single round. And then in the first game of those one uh, of those three games that we played, it was an HVH, one on our team, one of the two randoms turned on cheats as well. He started buying a scout. Bro, two out of three games we had cheaters. And don't say, oh my god, but you only played uh, uh, three games. Yes, because we realized that it's not possible to play Premiere right now. Yeah. And then uh, um, as well, some people, the people at the top, Jojo is his name. He's the number one ELO in Premier right now. He said it's well. It's a coin flip when you queue. Right now it's 50-50. You run into a cheetah five stack. <clears throat> even in NA. Even in NA. It's not just an EU thing. It's not just a low ELO thing. It's a high ELO thing. EU thing. NA thing. Everything. The answers, almost 30% said they've stopped playing completely, and almost 40% said that they play less than CSGO. Only 21% said that they play the same, and only 13% said that they play more CS2 than CSGO. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining why this is happening, and why the player base in CS is declining right now. But before that, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skins Monkey. They're one of the best and easiest. Check out Skins Monkey if you wanna, you know, if you wanna skins. There are three main categories. I, I haven't seen this yet. Now here, 
I haven't seen this. Why CS2 is in the shit there right now? The first issue is all of the content that's been removed, the second one is the gameplay of CS2, and the third one is just that CS2 wasn't ready to be released. Now before you write angry comments and decry the CS2 in the comments, please hear me out as I explain these three categories. Starting with content removed. First thing that I think is very important is Overwatch. I don't know why, but Overwatch is now gone from CSGO. It wasn't True. available for a few months in CSGO as well, while they were working on CS2. Not I sure- I forgot about that as well. Overwatch was another thing. You're like, you don't know what to do right now, but you're still in the menu on CS. You have all these options, you're a little bit tilted of, of matchmaking, maybe you don't want to play Dangerous on right now. You hop in an Overwatch. Pang. Why? But I know that we are seeing a lot more hackers now than before. Maybe it has something to do with that, I don't know, but surely that is not a good thing. Please bring back Overwatch. Next, I would like to mention the absolute insane number of maps that were in CSGO that are deleted from CS2. Let's start with competitive, matchmaking, and premier maps that are gone. In CS2, you can no longer play Cash, Tuscan, Agency, Train, and in Premier, you can no longer play Dust 2. Not sure why? but those maps are just completely gone. And the deleted Wingman maps are Bowyard, Chalice, oh. Cobblestone, Train, Short Dust, and Lake. All of these six oh. maps... Oh, 07 for Lake. Yo. Some Wingman on Lake. Some Scouts, uh, 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 Scoutsmen, where you, like, have gravity and... Oh, brother. I love Lake. I love Lake. ...are no longer playable. And they also deleted very many maps from Casual and Deathmatch. The deleted maps are... Cobblestone, Cash, Train, Canals, Tuscan, Agency, Militia, and Assault. All of these maps are deleted from CS2. Also, for some reason, in CS2, they decided to delete the training course. If you don't know what the training course is, it's this training map where you basically would run around and shoot at these cardboard cutouts. It had a very niche audience of people who used to speed run it for fun me that is not true <laughs> bro i remember checking world records speed runs for csgo i was like oh my god it has a category bro there's like 10 submitted uh, 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 records what i remember checking this yeah a small community of 10 people or what let me check again let me check again boom because here csgo i thought it was nobody nobody submits anything or let me see here. Boom. Okay, never mind. 635 runs. Um, and that's gun range, which is, I guess, what he's talking about. Then we got this. This one is literally dead. Only 56 submissions overall. Mm. And then we got this one. Guys, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, 10 people. Guys, this... Uh, bro, we're talking CSGO. Millions of players. Like, uh, nobody played this. Oh? Wait, actually, Aussie Jacko. LOL! <laughs> Why is Aussie Jekko playing this? <laughs> He's a friend, in a way. And three clicks Philip included, but now for some reason, it's deleted. Well, that's a lot of stuff deleted, right? Well, no, we're not even halfway yet, because they all... Fuck! They also deleted a lot of game modes. Danger Zone, which I'm really sad for. Man. I used to play this a lot, and it was a unique twist on CS, and really didn't feel like CS at all. That's just completely deleted now. They deleted all of Chad, the- I say it every time. Danger Zone was underrated, I'm telling you. People that never played Danger Zone before, I forced them to play a game with me. What did they say after we died, uh, getting a top, top 10 situation? Let's play one more. What happened then again? We died uh, immediately. Let's play one more. Always playing until we get a win. Bruder, it is so addicting. It is such a fun mode. Once you get into it, I'm telling you, you just got to play a game. Man. But yeah, not a lot of people played it. Will we ever see Danger Zone again? I, I think there was some signs hinting at that we don't get it, right? I remember, I think it was Aquarius, one of the leakers, um, hinting at that we won't see Danger Zone back. Probably not, yeah. I remember that as well. And really didn't feel like CS at all. That's just completely deleted now. They deleted all of the war games, which are Arms Race, Demolition, Flying Scoutsman, yeah. and Retakes. For some reason, they just thought these game modes are fucking shit. Let is it? It's being ported. Okay, so Danger Zone is coming, Ale. Ale is a is a yeah, Lika it's a it's a programmer. He looks in the code as well. Uh Tell me right now it's coming. Please. So I can be hyped for something. 
Oh, he's being very careful with his words now. Some of the stuff is being added slowly. I don't know an ETA. Okay, that's good to hear. That's good to hear that Danger Zone may be coming by the looks of it. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. That's Maybe good. updated, bro. Imagine. Oh, Buddha. I imagine this proximity chat in Danger Zone because CS is one of those games where you know how to use voice chat. You, everybody has their, their voice bind. It's not like in... PUBG, all this, or not in PUBG, Fortnite, all of a sudden they add VC and uh, people uh, don't even know how to use a mic, you have to enable it and stuff. CS, it's been there forever, everybody knows how to use a mic. Imagine proximity chat in Danger Zone, bro. And then maybe like 100 people, maybe with CS2 it's more possible with the Source 2 engine. Bigger maps, 100 people. Oh, like Fortnite, bro. Oh, bruder. Delete mm them. -mm. Because all of these game modes are now gone. But then again... Then we need to fix the cheater problem, right, because right. imagine a single cheater makes it into your 100 player lobby. Game over. <clears throat> a lot of the maps that were in these game modes are now also unplayable. The maps deleted from these game modes are Black Sight, Ember, Sirocco, and Vineyard from Danger Zone. Oh, Vineyard, you piece of shit. This map always crashed my, crashed my CS, bro. I always had to restart, bro. It was always like Vineyard. And in Danger Zone, you can't select a map. It's always like in rotation. You gotta wait two minutes. And it was like Vineyard. Oh my god, you gotta wait two minutes. It's so annoying, bro. Game maps that are deleted, there's a lot, are Lake, Baggage, Safe House, St. Mark's, Shoots, Lunacy, Monastery, Dust One, Dizzy, Bank, and Sugarcane. All of those maps are now in CS2 completely unplayable on any sort of official server. Very sad! I can't calculated that actually the maps that are deleted made up 63% of the entire map pool in CSGO, which means in CS2 now we're only left with 37% of all maps from CSGO, which is really sad. They also removed a ton of console commands that people liked. Some of the major ones are CL underscore Bob, which lowers the amount your weapon sways when you move in game. It's really annoying right now in CS2 because every time you move, your gun goes like this. Meanwhile, in CSGO, you could set it to a low amount and then when you'd move, it would be still very much better. Another command that for no- Chad, is that a problem? Same with the left hand, right? Because people are crying that we can't use the weapon on left hand, CL right hand zero. Uh, is it because of the smokes and like the tracers? Because when you shoot through a smoke, like Hi. imagine your model is on the left, uh, but the gun shot comes out of there, you know, like with the smoke, like it's not gonna work, huh? Mm, I think that maybe, I don't know. Good reason is deleted is the CL. Aha, 99%, this is sadly a design decision. Uh, yeah, so what I just said, huh? Underscore right hand, meaning that you can change so your gun is not on the right side, but it's on the left side. Either way, CS2 is basically saying, if you're a lefty, fuck you! Another piece of side information <laughs> is that skin prices have also absolutely plummeted in CS2. I made a full video on why skin prices went down in CS2, but quickly, it's basically because a lot of people overinvested and were expecting a very polished, content-filled game. Obviously, that's not what happened. Now the player base is declining, and so are skin prices. Another factor is that Valve can't really seem to make up their mind on what skins should look like. They've changed <laughs> the way skins look like True. 10 times and that creates uncertainty for the buyer. For example, if I bought a Talon Doppler, I wanted it to look like this. In CS2, True. they just completely changed the way it looks and they keep changing it in CS2, tweaking it and making it look different, which is really weird because in CSGO, if I bought this Talon, then I knew it would look like this and it would never change. The next category of reasons, like I said, is the gameplay of CS2. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I am not the greatest player in CS ever, but I know some people that are much better than me, so I decided to ask them some- Huh? Nine, did I not see SDM? questions. I asked Furious and Ren some questions on what they thought about CS2, what was- I think I may have missed it. No, Chevy could have made it into the video better or worse, and of course, their main concern is the anti-cheat in CS2, which seemingly no. is a lot worse than in CSGO, even with false positive bans being common in CS2, with people getting banned for something as simple as a console command, or <sighs> setting their sense very high and spinning and shooting bro. gets you permanently <laughs> game banned. What? Furious <laughs> and Red no way, bro. Oh my god. <sighs>
And also complained about the peaker's advantage and the randomness of CS2, which has made them and a lot of other good players very dissatisfied with the game. They were also both very disappointed with a sub-tick system, which makes everything feel much more random, making the gap between really good players and really shit players much smaller. That's not a good thing in a skill-based game. And the final reason why I think CS2 is not doing very well, like I said, is it just wasn't ready for a public release. Because in the past few weeks, we've had game-breaking bugs every single week, like the elevator boosts or the Michael Jackson peaks, which, yeah, you know, it's kind of funny when you peek someone and he stands like this. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, that's really funny. But not in a skill-based game where you could lose your rank to something as stupid as that. I understand if those things were happening in the beta, but now it's a fully released game. Things like that should not be happening. And talking about rank, I think both of the new ranking systems in CS2 are kinda bad. In Premiere, the ELO you get for a game seems very random. Sometimes you get minus 100 plus 360, and sometimes you get minus 400 plus 100. Chad, why is that? Isn't that like win streak and loss streak? Oh, like I remember I, I, I lost three games in a row, and then at the beginning I got plus 100, minus 100, and then all of a sudden it was plus 80, minus 400 or something. Mm, MMR ELO difference. Yeah, maybe if you're playing against better enemies, you're getting more elo. Yeah, uh, but I think lose win streak is also a big thing. Hundred. It doesn't seem to make any which makes sa sense. If they rank you wrong at the beginning, all of a sudden, like they price you in 18k, you don't deserve 18k. Talking about a random example here, uh, a loss streak uh, uh, makes sense, right? Imagine you lose 100 every time and you get fucked for the next hundred games to get uh, into your real rank. No, loss streak makes sense if if you're completely clueless, if you don't, um, uh, uh, if that's not your rank, like should go down quicker. And in my opinion, the new individual map ranking is really bad. It's a good concept, but since ranks are individual wait, per and each and map, a really good stream. player could just hop on a random map that he hasn't played before and smurf and stomp all of the noobs. And then when he's done, he could just change to another map and another map and another map. And by the time- I still don't know how to feel about uh, the two things, like two separate ranks. You know what I mean? Like- Oh, what's your premiere rank? What's your MM rank? What's your uh, uh, face it rank? Like, I don't know. I hate when it's like separated. I love when there's one huge queue and the one rating that everyone cares about. Same as in CSGO. What's your rank? Peng. You know? Oh, what do you mean? Premieres uh, or MM? Mm. But imagine they do it like Valorant. In Valorant, you can't queue your favorite map, right? Um, imagine they just take away MM and only premiere becomes available. Would you be uh, uh, <laughs> annoyed by that if it's only with picks and bans? <clears throat> no, thank you. No, yes. Mm. Hmm. I, I don't like the map dependent rank, but I don't know how to fix it either. Time he's done, the first rank is going to have a reset, so he can just keep smurfing. Also, I thought it would be fun to mention, because there are nine different maps in total, and you need ten wins on each map to get a rank, that means you need 90 wins just to get a rank on every single map. Let's say you have 60% win ratio, that means you're going to have to play around 150 games total just to get a rank on every single map. If you assume that one game is around 35 minutes, and you need to play 150, then you end up with almost 90 hours of playtime needed, which is lit- As someone who came from Valorant, the individual map rank confused the hell out of me. Yeah, it's not the way, no? It seems a little bit uh, like uh, they don't know what they want to do yet. They try to make everyone happy, but uh, uh, it just becomes weird. Like MM rank on every map? Huh? I remember how they announced it on the trailer, and if you're only global on vertigo. Yeah, but it's, it's I don't know, it's confusing. It's... it's not nice. Literally more than two full weeks of full-time employment, hello? Anyways, those are the main reasons I personally think that CSGO is in a bad spot right now and that there is a general negative attitude. What if it's like face it, chat, but you have the face it premium by default, aka you can select... You can, you can select three maps to queue, you know what I mean? Let's say you want to queue Premiere, you select three maps, and then the picks and bans stats, uh, starts with other people that selected three maps. Like Face It Premium. No. L. Oh my god, come on. Guys, I mean, uh, uh, learning how to play three maps, that seems fair. And then you can ban one.
towards CS2 right now. And yes, obviously- I think that may be the way. People are not uh, annoyed about Face It because you can't pick the map that you want to play. People love playing Face It. Uh, now we have something similar in CS. Picks and bans, but uh, I, th I, I enjoy Face It Premium a lot where I can s s take out the maps that I absolutely hate. Even if I solo queue so I don't have to, uh, you know, um, tell my teammates, oh, let's play, please ban this, and then they don't ban it. CS2 is going to become a really good game eventually in a few months or a year, but we don't really care about that right now, because right now the game is not very good and we're not living in the future. But the game is going to be better in the future shouldn't be an excuse for a company of Valve's size having yeah. an absolute flop of a game release. And to the people who are saying that CSGO wasn't any better back in 2012 yeah. when it released That's either, what well, it definitely wasn't, but if we look back in time, in 2012. That's what I'm saying as well, bro. You need to understand. You got it. Like this crazy uh, uh, Valve dick riders. I'm, 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 I'm. I, I love riding on it sometimes. Yes, but with CS2, you can't be saying that. Oh my God! Back in the day, CSGO. Look how bad it was. The release. Yes, but now we have. Now it's the biggest, the most respected FPS game ever. Billions of dollars in the skins economy. Uh, and 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 the and the new game releases. And there's some obvious mistakes with it. Like, guys, you can't tell me that mistakes like, for example, the bomb diffusing. Someone diffuses the bomb, head is down, all of a sudden the hitbox, you can't headshot him. The game released like that. It's like, if you play in the Valve office, if, if, if they would play like 100 games, that's what they do for testing, right, before they release a game. I would expect them to find out things like this and fix it before release. But no, they released it like that. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> Billion dollar company, they make how much? A hundred mil each month with cases? Get some more testers or summon. Mm -mm. Baby Ross thing with the five zifted. Cause. Does it make sense? I don't know, bro. Team is very small though. Hey, they make it bigger! What do you mean? <laughs> the next bro, what do you mean? That's not an excuse, dog. What is that? Well, you can see, we only had average players of about 10,000 people. So it kind of makes sense that the release in 2012 was a bit more shit than now, especially considering back then there weren't any CS cases, and now Valve makes almost 100... You can't compare the CSGO release to the CS2 release. You gotta compare what? Uh, uh, don't, uh, call, don't call me weird or something. You gotta compare to something like the Valorant release, right? Because uh, when that game released, it... It was ready, and that's what you expect from a company that of that size. Right, Games Valve? Like, 100%. That was a clean release. <clears throat> any, any other game, a lot of other shooter games release clean. Million dollars per month only from Case Keys. With a budget of a small country, surely <laughs> I would think that they could just improve the game and release an at least decently polished game. I don't like, think like we should- Like, bro, and, uh, bro, like, you can't tell me. Do you remember? Oh, let me see this. Uh, do you remember our first unboxed gold chat? When CS2 released, it's just one example. It's just, don't say, oh my god, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yes, but it's, it's those things adding up. When CS2 released, you unboxed a gold and it, it showed a different rarity. It, it showed, instead of a gold, it showed blue gold. You know what I mean? Someone show me the clip. Show me some of the clip. Oh, one of the old unboxes of ours. And that was the case for one week. And don't say, oh my god, but it doesn't matter. Yes, but still, don't you test? Once unboxing a gold before you release a game out to millions of people. You know what I mean? Don't you realize then, oh my god, wait, this is supposed to be gold. It's a click of a button to fix it. There shouldn't be this like, always like one week for a small fix of a small thing that, that could have been found out in internal testing. You know what I mean? Mm, show me an old clip, please. Here, there we go. Thanks, bro. Kevin! <laughs> nah! You guys, I swear to God, bro. So much so- oh my- okay, never mind. Bobby Rusnick with the five zifted again. Cause, cause, cause. Should be making up excuses- You know what I'm talking about. When it first came out, you unboxed the gold, it, it looked weird. Yeah, bro, nobody posts a clip, thank you so much. Here we go, pang, look. W. Gold. And- <laughs> Like, bro, and this was- yeah! This was even a bug in CSGO, the winter- I think it was the winter uh, esports case. Where this was the case, where the gold shows as a different uh, uh, rarity. For one case, it was the uh, it, it, it was a bug. They've never fixed it. CS2 releases, it's a bug for every case. <laughs> How, bro? How? 
Mm. And don't say, oh my god, yeah, but it doesn't matter. I know, I know it doesn't matter. But still, releasing a game to millions with an obvious fix. And don't say, oh my god, yeah, but maybe it was intended or something. No, they fixed it after people mentioned it. Where's the video now? There we go, boom. And dick ride Valve for no reason when they have the lip. doesn't matter. They could just... It's the least problematic problem in the game. I am just giving an example for what the problem is, okay? It's... It's it's an example for something that is obvious that should have been fixed on release. I it, it I I don't want to mention all the other problems that were uh, you know that were obvious that would have been found out in a little bit of testing on release. It is one example for for what for what the release was like. Okay. Prove the game and released an at least decently polished game. I don't think we should be making up excuses and decried Valve for no reason when they have delivered a product that, in my opinion and many other people's opinion, is not even close to finished. And as sad as it is to say, uh, CS2 is obviously in a terrible state right now, and the only thing we can do is wait until it becomes a good game eventually. But I know that many, many people will not have the effort to wait and will probably permanently quit playing cs now because of this release anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed my little yeah and and don't say oh my god yeah but the real ones will say but that's not what C valve wants that's a lie oh chat imagine the average casual bro who plays some cs had fun with his friends in csgo all of a sudden his friends start playing fortnite boom uh, you know and uh, uh, then they get hooked they, they start the battle pack line it's it's how like of course that's how you lose some players not all of them of course uh, i will always play cs2 um, but, but all of my is playing Valorant right now. Yeah, but he's played Valorant before. Um, I don't know, man. Little rant on why CS2 is in the shit there. And I hope you guys can ah. also say in the comments if you still play, how much you play, if you play less than in CSGO, or if you've completely quit. I'll or maybe the there are some people out there who prefer CS2 over CSGO. So thank you for watching. Now I'm going to go cry because look how they massacred my boy. Ah! Did I not pen it? I thought I'd- Shut your mouth. Chat, and, and don't get this wrong. Oh, wait, because uh, uh, now there, there will probably be, if this gets uploaded as a reaction or something, people will be like, oh my god. Um, uh, uh, how can you say this? I fucking love CS, CS2 as well. But <laughs> I expected a little bit more from the, from the release as well. Quit option, yeah. Um... Like, if you compare to, to, to other companies of the size of Valve releasing their game, like, this was this was a weak release. It was a weak release. Pros, some pros are angry. The players' numbers are going down. You can't deny that. You can't deny that. All right? Mm, I don't know. Uh, of course, it will get fixed with time, yes. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, just a, it's just an unfortunate way of... of of releasing a game, I feel like I don't know. Yo, okay, stop. Okay, but this I feel like people may have clicked, like maybe they already quit CS:GO before this, you know, and they don't know what to click. Mm. <laughs> I play more. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for me, it's I play less. Why? I don't know. Uh, demotivating if you if you play against obvious cheaters. Um, but more so, just like less. Like, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna either play matchmaking. I'm gonna get fucked by stream snipers on Vertigo. Or I'm gonna play Premier uh, again. Same risk of stream snipers, which I don't really care about much. But uh, 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 then there's a fucking cheater on the enemy team, and I'm wasting 40 minutes. You know what I mean? Mm, you're 7k. What cheaters, bro? Shut your mouth, bro. Shut your mouth. <laughs> nah, you come the fucking uh, Elo haters. Jesus.